Alright guys, in this next problem we're asked to measure the length of the line segment to the nearest half, fourth, or eighth of an inch, and there's a ruler set up below. Let's talk about the markers on this ruler. Well here's a one inch mark, here's a two inch mark, but let's go ahead and just count up all the markers between each inch. So uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight marks until we get to the one inch mark. Again, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight marks until we get to the two inch mark. So it looks like we've segmented these uh, markers off by eighths. Um, and if I were to just look at this first marker, I can see that it's one out of eight marks until we get to that one inch mark. So I could say it's one eighth of an inch. Now the way I set this up is, I set it up as the part, that's that number one, over the whole, which is eight. So it's the part out of the whole. Let's go ahead and actually, uh, I just want to fix that one eighth so it's a little bit smaller. And it will give me a little bit more room to work on here. So one eighth for that first marker. But what if I went out to the second marker here? Let's grab a new pen, and I can see it's, well, one, two, well the part is two, out of, well, an entire eight marks. So this is two eighths of an inch, but I can actually simplify two and the eight. If I divide by two on top, and I'd also have to divide by two on bottom, I have to do the same thing to both numerator and denominator. Well, if you divide by two, two divided by two is one, and eight divided by two is four. So two eighths of an inch is really one fourth of an inch. So this marker right here is one quarter of this entire inch. Okay, well let's keep moving forward. So we're at two, let's move forward three and four. So four out of eight, and let's actually change pin colors again. Uh, that four out of eight can be simplified to, well look what number goes both into four and eight. Four goes into four and four goes into eight. If I divide by four on top and on bottom, this breaks down to four divided by four is one, and eight divided by four is two. So four eighths of an inch is really one half of an inch. And that makes sense because the distance from the starting point um, to this marker here is half of the distance from the starting point to the one inch mark. Let's keep moving forward. So I'm at four eighths of an inch or one half of an inch and I want to move forward five, six. So now um, I'm at the uh, sixth mark um, and that's six out of eight and let's fix that eight real quick and let's see what number goes into both six and eight. Well the number two goes into six and the number uh, two also goes into eight so if I were to divide both numerator and denominator by two I could break it down or simplify it into three over four so three fourths of an inch. So this is the three quarter mark or three quarters of an inch mark right here and finally this last mark well, how do we move from one-eighth, one-fourth, one-half, three-fourths, and then get one whole number here? There's no number in the denominator. Well, let's look at one inch real quick. Remember, this is eight marks out of eight marks. The part is eight, and the whole is eight. So if I were to write eight over eight, what number goes into both numerator and denominator? Well, eight goes into both numbers, so this can be simplified into one over one. And we already know that one over one is equivalent to one. And we also know that any number over itself or any number divided by itself is equal to one. That's how we get one inch. But how did we get two inches? Well remember the whole is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's go ahead and write that down using a new color over here. Uh, I'll write it below actually. So that's the whole. It's eight marks from the one inch mark to the two inch mark. But how many marks does it take to get to the two inch mark? We've got to go all the way back to the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Also, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So this is the part is sixteen out of eight in this segment. Well, this can be simplified into 2 over, let's actually fix that real quick. I just want to use an arrow this time. It can be simplified if I divide by 8 on top and divide by 8 on bottom. Put another 8 here. Let's fix that 8 real quick. 
So when we divide both top and bottom by 8, well, it breaks down or simplifies into 2 over 1. Well, any number over 1 is that number itself. So we can just kind of pretend to hide the 1 here. Or just think of it as division. 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. And that's how we get 2 for 2 inches. Well, let's actually go ahead and measure this line segment. We can see that it's at least 1 inch long, but then it's a little bit more. So it's 1 inch, I'm going to write that down, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 8. So 1 and 5 eighths inches long. And I can just put I in with a period as an abbreviation for inches right here. And this is our answer for this problem. Cool stuff, guys.